Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, I am back with July favorites. If you guys are new here, I review products for a whole month and I compile all of my favorite products. So I'm really excited for today's video because I also have an announcement. We decided to do a lot of really cool emails. So make sure you sign up for my email list below because in addition to all of the favorite products that you will be seeing today, I actually will be sending regular emails of the items that I buy at the end of each month. I'm going to be sending all also just the links of everything through email that I've been asked the most on Instagram, especially if you guys are asking for a particular link to a shirt, a dress, shoes, etc. It's always going to be there. If you guys also didn't know, my website has the links already to everything. So if you want to check out my skincare routine, makeup, etc., it's already there. So you just have to type lisaway.com slash skincare or slash makeup or slash whatever you want. If you want to check out the Majuri collection, you can do slash Majuri. If you want to check out another brand, you can do just slash Lululemon, you will be able to see all the products there. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. I'm going to be going through the usual categories of jewelry, beauty, skincare, and makeup. I will also have clothing as well, so I'm excited to show you guys. Okay, before we go into today's Majuri items, I just want to remind you guys that I have 10% off with Majuri. So if you're a first time customer with Majuri, make sure to use my link down below and you'll have an automatic 10% off applied to your account upon checkout. And for everyone else, you can click on the links to see all the products that I'm mentioning in today's video. Okay, so as usual, the first category is going to be jewelry. So my favorite Majuri picks for this month, I have three items. The first item are these earrings. These are their drop earrings and I absolutely absolutely love this because it's just straight down and there's like this little I don't know like kink where it separates the bar so this part is actually quite dangly I've paired it with my threaded Majuri earrings which they've discontinued which I'm actually really sad about because these were honestly so practical and you can see that I thread it through to two different ear piercings and if you guys remember my last ear piercing was just getting very infected and I feel like this one was just very very comfortable and I just like how this one is just very light on my ear but I'm so sad that they discontinued that the first one right here I just absolutely love this design and together combined I really really like it so this is the bar earring and I just really like it I also like how the backing is extremely comfortable and it just looks really really cute the next item by Majuri that I wanted to review was the collectible necklace. This is their paper clip necklace. So I actually got this because so many of you had actually asked me to review this. This necklace was honestly meant to have charms on it. Personally, I do really like to wear it alone. And when I got the product, I was actually quite surprised because online the necklace looks extremely thick but this necklace in person is actually way more dainty than the pictures look online you can wear it obviously two ways the first way is you wear it just like this the other way is you can wear it with this charm right in front this is actually where you put the necklace on together and you can also use this area to link your charms as well as you can see I've left it blank even though I have a ton of majority charms but I just really really like this especially when I wear it from this angle it also looks really cute another reason why I really like this is because this is also solid gold so I don't ever take it off and I just leave it on. The next item that I got from Majuri is going to be one that you already know I love. As you already know I have the baguette ring which I absolutely love. They just came out with the baguette eternity ring so this is what it looks like I just took it off to show you so as you know the baguette ring it is just one-sided this one is actually the entire rounded side I don't know about you but for me my baguette ring always twists and it actually goes to the inner part of my hand I always have to like fix it or whatever this one not only doesn't even roll around but it actually just stays on my hand if you guys are wondering like oh my god well why do you need both honestly you don't need both both, but my baguette ring is a size six so I don't wear it on my ring finger but this one I got it in a size five so it fits my ring finger really well I feel like I can still keep my baguette ring as a layering piece for a different finger but I just absolutely 
absolutely love this. I can't believe they decided to do the entire ring. It is so smart because I feel like a lot of people probably wanted it for the whole ring anyway. So there you go. I absolutely love this ring and it just looks so cute. The last item that I got from Majuri is actually an anklet. It is their dot anklet. This anklet I have been wearing all summer. It's summer so you know I'm bringing the anklets back out and you can even see it from my Princess Polly video that I was wearing it for that video and it is so cute, so dainty and just like the little detail is just oh, such chef's kiss for me. I absolutely love this anklet. It just looks so 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 cute. It actually is like sort of convincing me to get the bracelet. Actually I don't even know if it has a bracelet but if it does I'm like Wait, it looks so good on my ankles and I'm like, hmm, maybe I will get also the bracelet. That being said, that is pretty much the majority picks for today. The next category that I wanna do is pretty much skincare. I also have a body wash to share with you guys. So the first product I wanna share with you is the Biosance Squalene and BHA Pore Minimizing Toner. So this is one of my favorite toners right now, especially in the mornings. Actually, I only use it in the mornings, but as you guys know, just to prep my skin for makeup, I have been really liking using pore minimizing toners. So back in the day, I used the It Cosmetic Pore Minimizing Toners. And I just feel like this is just such a great time to minimize your pores because you're putting more product and you're putting some makeup, which is color, and you don't want to see the enlarged pores. So that's usually why I like to use the pore minimizing toners in the day and more hydrating ones at night. This is one I really like. Not only is it really great for all skin types, even sensitive skin, even though they do have a BHA. But on top of that, this product is completely vegan, as you can see from their squalene. So squalene is a vegan alternative and this product even online has really great reviews a lot of people really enjoy this and a lot of people including myself see very visible results very immediately so definitely check that out this is not an ad i literally just got sent the product and i tested it out this month and i was like wow it actually works really well the next product i want to mention is the dermalogica daily milk foliant so this is what it looks like if this product looks and sounds familiar it's because it is okay if you guys know actually you have to know I mentioned the Dermalogica Daily Foliant every single month. Like I swear to God, like so often I bring it when I travel as you guys know, because it's not technically a liquid because it is literally just like powder like that. As you can see, you know what? You can literally put this gigantic ass bottle in your carry on and nobody can say anything. And with a little bit of water, it turns into face wash. Basically the daily microfoliant, which is the OG. I actually asked Dermalogica. I was like, okay, can you guys tell me really what the difference is because I don't get it. Um, pretty much the TLDR of this product is number one, functionally it works the same okay it's meant to exfoliate your face and it's safe to use every day the difference though is that this one is even more for sensitive skin if you find that the daily microfoliant is a little bit rough for you or you're like i love this but i just still want something a little bit more gentle then i would actually recommend this one over it because i do notice that the powder is more fine so you can definitely check that out what the actual difference is is actually in the formula that is in there. So I can't remember which one is which, but one is rice based and one is oat based or something like that. We're gonna, we're gonna look into it and I'm gonna put it as an overlay, but pretty much that is the formula difference. But really the functional difference is how sensitive is your skin? How much more gentle do you want the product to be? As you know, this is one of my favorite Dermalogica products, just this daily microfoliant and love that they came out with an even more sensitive version for other people. Yeah, definitely check that one out. The last product within the kind of like skincare, etc. category is the body wash that I've been using all month. I think it is currently up to here. I'm like feeling it right now. You can see it like under direct sunlight how much is. Oh yeah, you can see it. I think right here. You can see it under direct sunlight how much is left. The Olay Cleansing and Firming body wash and this one has collagen it's funny because they contacted me and they were just like would you like to do an ad and of course i was like 
let me try it out for a little bit i've actually tested it out for two months which is why this is like all the way down here but i asked them for me to test it out obviously before i was comfortable doing an ad but i was already pretty confident because olay is a brand that me and my family have been using ever since i was little okay and i feel like this is just kind of like a bougie version the brand almost like grew up with me it's like hey how do you know that i'm looking for some anti-aging stuff and also collagen and then bam they came out with a body wash that has collagen so that was fantastic so what i really like about this product is that it is so gentle in fact okay it is so gentle to the point that initially i was like you know what? i don't know if really know if i'm gonna like this because just like how i like my morning cleansers for my face i prefer not saying i don't like but i prefer if the product lathers because in the mornings i use my foreo and when i take a shower i use a loofah so i prefer if the product lathers for the other product that i'm using so when i first pumped this product on my hand it felt so gentle that i was genuinely just like are you gonna lather but then i put it on my loofah and then it actually lathered so well so i was like thank god because what i like about this is that it's very gentle it's very moisturizing hence why i kind of got tricked in the first place but then it's still lathered on my loofah so it's honestly so good and I like that it, it kind of looks Costco size but it's not you know because every single time I use like some body washes the bottle is so little and I don't know if you guys know this about me but I pretty much shower like twice a day because I work out in the mornings and I'm just like a germaphobe so I have to shower before bed and I added the morning shower because of all my workouts so I actually use this twice a day for two months I love the product definitely check it out because especially now that we are all getting older, even if you're watching this and you're super young, you're still getting older, okay? Every single day, you're one day older than the day before. It is time to implement some anti-aging products. Okay, so moving on to makeup. Oh my God, where should I start? Okay, I guess I'll start from my routine, which is like what I usually do. First product I wanna review is the Benefit Velvet Powder Foundation. So this one is the one I'm wearing today on my face. It is called Hello Happy and it's in the color five. So when you open up the product this is what it looks like you have the powder here you flip it to the top and you have a little spongy thing which i'm probably going to use when i travel but i use a brush right now when i'm home i really like this product because as you guys know i quite like the mac studio fix foundation so this is giving me the same vibes it's just a very good alternative what i've noticed is that this has allowed my makeup to stay on for a really really long time for some reason for hours with this makeup up, especially now with the humidity my makeup has stayed on still really really well which I've been really really surprised about so definitely check it out I've been using it all month it's been pretty reliable honestly I don't know if it's also like my whole foundation routine but basically I'm pretty confident it's this powder because I don't think I've actually changed my foundation routine at all but this powder has been pretty good on my skin so if you guys are looking for something to pat on your face after you put on some liquid foundation then check that one out. Okay, the next product I wanna review is the News of New York. This is the eye palette by Maybelline New York and these are all of the colors. The reason why I really like this product is because I feel like this is like a happy medium of my ideal eyeshadow and like an eyeshadow I hate in terms of size. So the ideal size, as you know, is like the Charlotte Tilbury mini ones that I love to use or like the Tarte mini ones. That is what I think is like the perfect eyeshadow size because there's no freaking reason you need to carry a really big eyeshadow you don't even use all those colors i feel like especially someone who travels a lot i just like a very small eyeshadow base the ones by morphe for example like the huge jaclyn hill palette which i also have i'm like for what reason do i need this size how am i ever going to carry it i don't love love the size but i still love this product because all of the colors are actually really really good especially on asian skin tones it is also the eyeshadow that I am wearing today so I did a tutorial on it on TikTok so you guys can go and check that out but I absolutely love this it complements my skin tone extremely well and the most important criteria that I use to evaluate eyeshadow is how the pigment works on my skin and on the brush so for example the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette honestly I have never really been the biggest fan because although the colors are nice and they're pigmented every time my brush 
you know, dips into the eyeshadow. It's so flaky, it gets everywhere, and I just am not the biggest fan. But this one works really well. It is pigmented, but also it doesn't flake everywhere, so I really, really like that. Once again, the size is a little bit bigger, but that also means you have a little bit more selection than your typical, like, six, which is, like, the ideal size that I really like. You do have a little bit more selection, which also could be a good thing because if you are traveling or if you just want one palette for home, then you have a lot of variety of just, like, a casual day versus going out and partying. Like, I can see some of these colors the sparkly ones would be really good for going out the next item that i want to review in terms of makeup is the l'oreal infallible fresh wear bronzer this one i already knew i was going to like it when i got this product the reason being is because i have been a huge fan of the l'oreal infallible line Okay, I feel like I've tried everything from the L'Oreal Infallible line and I've been reviewing their things ever since I started on YouTube. It has never failed me, okay? Their liquid foundation is such a good dupe for the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which has been my go-to foundation for so long and the Armani Luminous Silk for a fraction of the price. All of their other products like the foundation powder is so good as well. It's just everything in their infallible line is just like I could just marry this line. So when they came out with a bronzer, I'm just like, I already know you're gonna be good. But I was like, you know what? I will try it anyway, just to obviously for the integrity of this video. And also I want to try it because I know I'm gonna love it. So I tried it and I'm like, yep, there it is. I freaking love it. It is also the bronzer that I'm wearing today. It is very easily blendable, okay? The color is amazing. The color that I'm using is 300 in light medium. It is so buildable is very comparable to the hula bronzer by benefit which you guys also know i love okay this one's different because hula only has one color i believe whereas the l'oreal infallible this one i think you can obviously choose your bronzer shade so i think like that's the only difference but in terms of functionality it actually works pretty similar to the hula bronzer it is very buildable like i said very easily spread and i don't know it's just an overall really good bronzer if you can find your shade if that was like the one thing because i feel like some people are like hula we love you but you know there's just like not a lot of range colors for that one then definitely check this one out they have have a lot of different shades and colors. The other reason why I really like this is because this was a lovely surprise. On the other side of this product actually came with a mirror. So instead of just the bronzer itself, on the other side, you also get a little mirror. So if you like to carry your bronzer with you, then there you go. Or if you want to put it in your touch-up kit, then you also have a little mirror. The next few products I wanna review is three more face palette products. Okay, really it's just one, but it's in three different shades, but it's the one by Laura Mercier. The one thing, before I tell you what I like about the product, the one thing I don't like about the product is although it's freaking beautiful, as you can see, it's rose gold and it's very reflective and stuff like that. If I touch it, you can see my fingerprint. This is literally the ideal surface of any police officer trying to find a criminal. Like this is how obvious your fingerprint is okay so anyway that's the only thing i don't like about it otherwise it's great you can also honestly use this as a mirror because i can see my reflection real well anyway that is not the point of this product the point of this product is the product within is actually fucking fabulous and i love it it is all the face product that i'm wearing today in fact i had this and have been trying it for so long now i posted a reel on my instagram and someone literally called out my cheeks they were like it's so rosy it's so bright it is literally a combination of these products so the three colors that i have which i will share with you because obviously i'm not going to gatekeep the color that is part of the reason why i like it i have three peach shimmer very berry and rose glow i'm going to open them up and show you guys all the products the first product i want to talk about is peach shimmer this is peach shimmer and this is what the color looks like do you guys remember how obsessed i was with the charlotte tilbury face palette and that one blush shade because i think it was called nude gasm the blush shade if you look at it you're just like hmm, what is it gonna give me honestly i was so in love with that blush shade because it is so neutral this is it honestly this is also something along that vibe the peach shimmer it is such a great nude blush it already looks good on my skin tone but you know who else i think this would look really good on people with really dark complexions i just have a hunch that this would look so 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 good on you even on me when i put it on i'm like I'm in love with myself. I feel like I'm better than people. Anyway, 
I love that color, Peach Shimmer. You need to check it out. Anyway, if I'm also feeling a little bit more rosy that day and want a little bit more redness, I love layering this color. This one is very berry. If you look at the color, do not be shocked. I know this looks so red, but this blush and what I really love about it, once again, it's not flaky at all and it's very buildable. It is so interesting because it's very buildable and yet it's a powder blush, but yet it's creamy. I don't know. I really, really love the texture of this. I'm just going to swatch it for you guys real quick. But as you guys can see, it's very buildable. Once you put it on, it's not that deep red that you saw. It's not super opaque. It's very, very buildable. So don't get overwhelmed by the color. I know it looks really deep but when you actually put it on your skin it starts off really really light and you can see how light it is so it is actually the color that I have on my cheeks right now I layered both peach shimmer then I added that and on top I added the highlighter which is in rose glow and this one is actually I believe this was inspired by the eyeshadow that everyone was super in love with I have also used all three of these products not only for my cheeks but also for my eyeshadow and it just looks so 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 good I absolutely absolutely recommend. I also use this highlighter for my inner corners and I also use it on top. So if you see this natural highlight, this is all coming from Rose Glow. Anyway, the last item I wanted to share is actually just this bralette. As you guys know, I already have so much clothing content on my Instagram, TikTok, etc. And even on my website with all the different clothing brands that you guys can check out right here. There's a list of brands if you want to shop their entire wardrobe. But for these YouTube videos, I like to keep it within the beauty and skincare category or the ones that I really, really absolutely love. So this tank top that I'm wearing right now, I'll stand up to show you. This is what it looks like and I'm not even wearing a bra. It's from Dynamite. I now have it in the white. I also have it in the black. It is one of my favorite tops to basically layer all summer. I absolutely love this top. I would recommend going size down, especially if you don't have really big boobs, but you can check out the exact link at lisaway.com slash dynamite. It is so nice and most of all, practical and comfortable. You guys know that's my theme with all my clothing and all of my products. So everyone, when I tell you, you need this product, you need to check it out. Also just a reminder before the video ends to sign up for my email list, because I will be linking all of these products a lot more frequently. So make sure you check that out as well. With that being said, that's pretty much the video for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.